Wagwan y'all, it's Dinge back for the attack, but you already know that. And today, let's have a bit of a discussion. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is coming around the corner, and with the game seeking competitive ventures, it made me think about something. A small something that possibly might be a divisive thought. The Nintendo Switch should not be the tournament console for this game. Now let's discuss. Alright, let me just preface this discussion by saying, no, I'm not saying that this game does not belong on Switch, I'm not saying it doesn't deserve to be on Switch, and no, I'm not saying that this game should never be played on Switch. I'm just saying, as a tournament standard, maybe the Nintendo Switch is not the best console for this game. But let's look at a few reasons maybe why or why not. Well, first of all, Nicktoons all. All-Star Brawl is a multi-platform game. It's going to be available on basically every major system there is. Now, that's great, and it also has rollback for all supported systems. At first hearing that, I was wondering what they meant. But after going to Discord, I basically understand it as for all 1v1s in the game, it will have rollback on all platforms. But only beefier platforms can have rollback with three to four players. So you already know what that means. Most likely this Nintendo Switch, or I guess most obviously, the Nintendo Switch would not have rollback supported for three to four players. Now this isn't a huge major thing since in most platform fighters the main uh, format is 1v1s, but you know, though doubles is a side event, it's still a competitive format and it's still a competitive event. Which I'm basically saying is, if you do get it for the Nintendo Switch and it doesn't support rollback netcode for 3-4 to four players, competitive doubles will be a worse choice to play on that platform. Which, objectively speaking, means that playing the game on any other platform is going to be better than playing it on the Nintendo Switch, since you are, are able to play with four or well, three to four people and still retain Robat netcode. Though one objection to that would be stating that if we're all offline, it doesn't matter that it doesn't have Robat netcode for three to four players. But it still actually does, since we're not always going to be offline, and the best way to practice it would be online with Robat netcode. And you can't practice doubles or team battles or team games if you're the console you choose to have it on doesn't support robot netcode you wouldn't be, you wouldn't have efficient practice on it versus all other consoles the next thing is people might be wondering hey since it is multi-platform shouldn't it be able to be played on any console on offline you know when you go to events and such well yeah that is true but then that will be up to the TO and or the tournament organizer. And the tournament organizer is going to always choose the console or the ses setup that is most efficient and least costly to that tournament organizer because running tournaments are expensive. A few years ago in the FGC, we had a big shift in what consoles played what games. And basically, all consoles nowadays in a uh, tournament setting for fighting games basically plays on the PlayStation. The only exception in the last few years was Killer Instinct being on the Xbox console and of course Smash Bros being on the Switch. But if given a choice, most likely the TOs are going to choose the console that most of the games are already on and it will just cost them less money so they won't have to buy a new whole console or you know have to pull out and change setups since most fighting games will be played on the PlayStation and Nick All-Star Brawl is available on the PlayStation it's gonna be an easier fix now I say this but I do want you all to be mindful that if your tournament organizer or your local scene regularly plays Smash Brothers this means they most likely have switch setups so that means when the game comes out and if they see people that wants to play Nick All-Star Brawl, they most likely will they will run it on the Switch setups. But this also works and vice versa. 
if your local is mostly a fighting game local or FGC local that plays on the PlayStation, if they see uh, engagement for the game and they see that people will want to play it, they most likely will run it on the PlayStation. Now, this isn't a problem for me since my controllers can actually universally work with all consoles, but I want you guys to keep this in mind just in case you do decide to pick up the game and go competitive in it. You might need to have a controller that either works on all consoles or be able to play on different consoles than the one you might practice on from home. But uh, let's speak about it from home. Now this part is going to be hard to gauge, but I'm just going to just wing it and just say what I have to say. When we're talking about running tournaments from home and you know running online rollback tournaments, this obviously can be played on a multitude of consoles, but the best one from home might be the PC. And I say it might be the PC only because it's just shown on different games, especially like Guilty Gear, that the PC is pretty much the best way to play these games online, since usually the PC versions are the best. Usually. Now this does kind of go off, this does kind of translate differently when we're talking about playing it offline or local since running your locals with PC setups is actually very expensive and if there's another option you're most likely your TOs will choose that other option since it's just a way more easier to run games on consoles when it comes to offline since it's just plug and play and and there isn't going to be a large discrepancy between uh, setups since all the consoles are basically going to be the same while all PC setups might not be the same. Especially since most locals actually allow uh, the attendees to bring setups to and wa most likely waive their venue fee for doing it to just to help the tournament run better. But anywho, I most likely feel that most of the tournaments will be ran on PC. Now, I'm not saying there's going to be no tournaments ran on Xbox, PlayStation, or the Switch, but I feel that over time that it might narrow it down to there might be more PC tournaments than not. But, you know, who's to say? I just know that most likely there might not be a super abundance of S Switch tournaments, mainly because of the three to four player rollback rule. I'm not even sure if they have a spectator mode yet. And I'm not even sure if the spectator mode actually accounts for the three to four player no rollback rule. Cause if it does and there's and a spectator counts as a person, then definitely it's not gonna be ran on Switch because you won't have rollback at that point. Last but not least uh, this is also something that I'm thinking about because some people might think, hey, it's a platform fighter, and since it's Smash is the platform fighter, most of the people will just migrate from Smash, so it's mostly going to be ran on Switch. Well, that's not true. Only because we have other competitive platform fighters, and there actually isn't a large migration from Smash to these other platform fighters. These other platform fighters being Rivals of Aether, and even Brawlhalla. A lot of Smash players aren't rivals of Aether players, and also a lot of Smash players aren't Brawlhalla players. There's actually not a huge overlap. Though a lot of people might have migrated and became Smash, I mean rivals only players, or Brawlhalla only players, but there's just not a lot of overlap to just say that hey, they're gonna be ran on the same console. And even with that said, Rivals of Aether and Brawlhalla are both available on the S Nintendo Switch console, but yet that's still not the tournament uh, standard console. Though, you know, it would be disingenuous for me not to say that both of those games did start their fan base on PC, and they did flourish, and they were poured into the Switch later. So that is a little disingenuous to say that they all you know, that they don't play on Switch because, just because the PC might be better to play on. They mostly started on PC, so they probably didn't migrate because why would they? Well, I think that's gonna cover my bases. Oh, I guess uh, last but not least, 
uh, the Nintendo Switch most likely will have the le least amount of controller options. That can be another bone against it. When you play on PC, you can use a Xbox pad, you can use a PlayStation 4 pad, you can use a keyboard, you can use a fight stick, you can use a pro controller, you can use a GameCube if you really want to. And for most of the other consoles, they have a lot of options and peripherals, but Nintendo Switch console doesn't have too many options or peripherals. And <laughs> that would be a boon against it since why not go with the console that most people will have the peripherals for? But anyway, now I'm rambling. This was just a quick thought that I, you know, this was just, a, just it just popped into my head. So I decided just to ramble, turn on the mic and just ramble about it. And I am very, very excited for Nicktoons All-Star Brawl, or Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And yeah, I'm definitely going to get it day one. And I'm definitely going to try to make as many videos as I can for it though you know I do hope I like the game because everything about it makes me like it like everything and I want to support it and I'm going to buy it regardless but until I get my hands on the game I'm not sure how much I will like it but hey maybe stick around and find out subscribe if you're new and if you just want to maybe hear me talk about an a whole bunch of other random fighting games or controller stuff please stick around leave this video a like if you enjoyed and have a have a great one yeah. Yeah.